Self-driving is undoubtedly one of the most anticipated technologies of the 21st century. With more than a million people dying each year globally from motor vehicle accidents, more than a thousand of those occurring in Australia, it accounts for almost 1% of all deaths, so it's easy to see why most people will want to get out of the driver's seat and hop into the back seat instead and let the artificial intelligence do the driving for you. However, as you sit in the back seat, you can't help yourself but think, do I really trust the machine to do the driving for me? Is it safe? Then you start to think of the ethical problems. How might this affect the economy? Job losses? How would this change day-to-day -day life in the everyday world? So, at the end of the day, do the risk of autonomous vehicles really outweigh the benefits? Let's hop back to the driver's seat. With the introduction of self-driving, cars can communicate with other cars at near light speed, which means that a lot of human error caused by not understanding another driver's intent can be negated. Drivers misusing the turn signals, wrongly giving way to another car, causing the other car to brake. In fact, the whole idea of a traffic light can be gotten rid of due to the fact that a traffic light is just a tool to help drivers communicate with other drivers when to go or not to go. With self-driving vehicles, a whole line of cars can accelerate at once, clearing traffic the faster the more there is. Speed limits can now increase and lanes can get narrower, allowing for more traffic lanes since autonomous vehicles can process information much faster than humans. And if we reach the point in which all cars are self-driving, cars can just pass through an intersection without the need of a traffic light, which will undoubtedly reduce the amount of traffic that the area has. But traffic in itself is mostly determined by the amount of cars that an area has. In almost all circumstances, a city where there is public transport or has less people is way less congested than places where there isn't public transport or has more people. And if self-driving is introduced, more people will be commuting on the roads instead of taking alternatives such as public transport, walking, biking, or just even not just go just not going at all. Which means that although traffic will be reduced by introducing light speed communication, the added amount of cars on the roads will balance out the amount of traffic reduced, especially in cities such as Beijing, Shanghai, Tokyo, Amsterdam, or Los Angeles, where public transportation is prominent and roadways are already dominated by free-flowing expressways without intersections with traffic lights instead of overpasses and underpasses that negates the need for traffic lights. There are a bunch of people who have very limited options of getting from point A to point B other than to just drive. And for some group of individuals, namely children, elderly, disabled or disqualified, that's not even an option for them. Some disabled individuals can't even use public transport due to the severity of the problems. And so having an autonomous vehicle will greatly improve their quality of life due to the fact that they now have a faster or even a whole new way of transportation where there previously wasn't one. But there are also a bunch of people who rely on driving to earn them an income. 30% of all civilian jobs require at least some driving in order to do. The most obvious ones are taxi drivers, bus drivers, Uber drivers or delivery drivers, but there are also some jobs that you don't quite expect to be on that list, such as tradies, technicians, sales agents, or even tutors who are required to drive in order to pick up materials or go between work sites and homes. With all of them now unemployed due to autonomous vehicles, they would most likely have to find new jobs, vastly increasing the unemployment rate and so the economy. With the introduction of driverless vehicles, those who drive to commute to locations can now do other things such as catching up on homework, meetings, or even get some much-deserved rest after a long day's work. There's not going to be any more time wasted while driving, so a lot more people are going to have a lot more free time because of it. Complete your work while you are getting driven by a robot, spend more time with family once you get home. More fun times! 
However, a lot of people, me for one, find driving itself to be fun times. Entertaining, one may say, like a recreational activity. There is nothing more fun than coasting through a country road at 100 kilometers an hour, listening to some great hits while overtaking trucks, or enjoying a breathtaking scenic route during sunrise. It's the same reason F1 racing or NASCAR is so popular. A lot of people find driving to be fun and self-driving vehicles are only gonna jeopardize the joy of it. I for one cannot imagine how racing events would work with self-driving vehicles. Like how would that even work? All of them are gonna perform the exact same. And what are you gonna name it? Self S D1? Self-driving one? That doesn't sound right. So at the end of the day, the question of whether or not self-driving will actually improve day-to-day -day lives is a controversial one. A lot of people are going to love it, a lot of people are going to hate it, but it's going to be obvious which side is going to win. As of December 2022, five states in the United States have already allowed driverless vehicles to be on roads, and many other countries are also allowing for driverless vehicles to be regulated in the upcoming years. So. In the future where artificial intelligence gets advanced enough, all cars are most definitely going to be driverless and cars with drivers will likely be banned due to its risk and unviability. There used to be a time where elevators used to have drivers, but nowadays we will all laugh at even the idea of this. The question is, when will we say the same about cars with drivers? Five years, 50 years, 500 years? It is not a question of if, but when. So, you know, better just to enjoy driving while you still can.